Dreams can be really dumb. That's okay, though, because goals are important or whatever. I'd say that maybe one-tenth of my dreams, which are mostly about world domination, will make any sort of impact on mine or anyone else's life, but at least that's a few. When I was little, I thought my dreams would never change, and I thought that I'd be working till the same things until I die. Thank God six-year-old me was wrong. I'd rather die than be a ballerina. Most of my dreams are nonsense, and the ones that make sense will be different in six months. My dreams for myself and my generation will definitely adapt with me, but for now, I think that they're pretty important. This year, I'd like to spend more time doing what I love and improving skills that I want to keep. For example, I want to continue practicing piano more often, but I wouldn't mind putting the whole constant arguing thing. It takes up a lot more energy than piano anyway. When I get to high school, I want to join lots of clubs and take lots of classes. I will sacrifice my last bit of dignity and self-respect for scholarships and college credits because that stuff is really expensive. If I don't get hit by a car or go crazy by the time I'm 18, I really want to go to NYU, my dream school, to do something in forensics, like pathology or psychology. I want to live in the city, but the world is actually ridiculous and expensive, so I'll probably end up living on Long Island near family. When I'm living on my own, I want to not be homeless, make enough money not to starve, and not be miserable. Overall, I want to make some sort of difference in the world. I'd like to do something with my, li my life and to make a tiny dent in the problems of the world. Being ridiculous, people tend to have bad ideas. My generation is already starting to solve the problems that the previous generation has left for us. The people that created the world we live in today are making life a lot harder for us, but we will probably fix things. We will try, at least. As Rebecca Zen once said, I wish the world was more like a bowl of seaweed soup. Green, diverse, warm, and loving. Unfortunately, that is not the case because a lot of people don't care. That sucks a lot because now we have issues like global warming, homophobia, racism, sexism, and people who don't like Harry Potter. <laughs> I also hope that our generation learns to shut up. That's what's missing in the world, people's ability to shut up. Sexism, shut up. Racism, shut up. Gun control, shut up and listen to the people who it actually affects. Homophobia, guess what? Shut up. Shut up. It's quite easy to shut up. I hope people also learn that their opinion doesn't always matter. When I control the world, I will so annoy people's mouths shut, and that is just the start. Someday we will live in a world where everyone just minds their business, and everyone will be happy. We have to learn that everyone is different. For example, some people would say that starting a dream speech with the phrase, dreams can be really dumb is a bad idea, and I would agree with you. It's pretty simple. Do whatever you want as long as it doesn't affect anyone else in a negative way. Yay, all the world's problems have been solved. Dreams suck if you're dumb, but if you're not someone whose mouth will eventually show up, then you'll be you. Even if they don't come true, having a goal is always important. Dreams keep you working for something. My dreams are pretty boring, but I do believe that if everyone just shut up and understood that their opinion isn't always valid, our world would be a much better place. In conclusion, be quiet, because we're all stupid in one way or another.